Ever spent ages hunting through the superset docs just to build a KPI chart? Or maybe you're typing in a Google, switching tabs, or scrolling endlessly? Imagine if you could just ask a smart assistant right here. In your Slack or your ID, introducing the superset dashboard assistant. Here's what it looks like. These are some default questions you can ask. If I click on, how do I explore a data set and build charts in Superset? See? In seconds, you get a clear step-by-step -step guide to explore what you need. It also provides links to the dashboard. Clicking it takes you directly to the dashboard panel if you're logged in. This feature makes it super easy for users to navigate the dashboard. It can also provide queries if needed. Writing SQL queries can be tough for business users, so just ask for them. For example, if I want to know, write the list of dashboards on Superset, you'll get the list. Just click the link to be redirected automatically. You can see the list of dashboards available. Various filters are at your disposal. For instance, if I want to see only published dashboards, it can guide you there. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. Open the dashboard list, show the filter panel, click the filter icon, then go to the charge by dashboard link. There are various filters on the dashboard's top. If I want to see published, I'll select published. Here's the list of published dashboards I want to view. What else? Say I want to create a pie chart. Whatever you ask, it simplifies navigation with small steps. Just go to the chart list. Here's the chart list. Create a new chart by clicking on New Chart. Here's a list of chart types. Select the data source, which is the data set. I'll choose Sales. Then, if I want a pie chart, I'll select it. Click on Create New Chart. These are the steps. Here are the columns and metrics you can use. Navigate step-by-step step for what you need. Category. Or any dimension like brand. Option group. Save. Create chart. The chart is created. Next, click save and name your chart. Upon clicking Save, I'll name it Brand by Sales and then Save. The chart is created. See how easy it is? There are multiple troubleshooting options available too. Next, if I want to duplicate a dashboard, I can simply ask, how can I duplicate or make a copy of a dashboard? It provides a step-by-step -step guide, simplifying creation and navigation. That's all there is to it.